xj where j is in z plus okay so once you are in the realm of sequences you are very much interested in convergent sequences in convergent sequences can anyone tell me what a convergent sequence is hello you have seen this in your bsc uh, first year class so okay so uh, let us be very simple let us talk about a sequence in r only okay so a sequence in r is said to be convergent if please complete the sentence uh, i think it should come the limit of it should come uh, finite okay it's lim okay you are saying that uh, limit should be finite then what is the limit what is limit of sequence okay so here is an example suppose i have a sequence xj given by 1 by j okay j runs from 1 to n uh, sorry 1 to infinity so what would be its limit is this sequence convergent 1 by j where j is where j equal to 1 2 3 and so on zero zero why so you are saying that this xj converges to zero but how did you uh, how did you say this how did you find that zero is zero is the point where it converges okay what did you see is you took any neighborhood of zero any neighborhood of zero is of this form minus epsilon to epsilon okay and you find that that this neighborhood will contains every element except finitely many okay of this sequence so so this seek this neighborhood the neighborhood this neighborhood of zero contains all but finitely many members of one by j okay so this is what this is how we define a convergent convergent sequence so let me let me write it here let xj be a sequence on a normed space x with this norm okay then clearly x is a metric space with the metric induced from this norm this norm okay we say xj is convergent and converges to some point x in x if so if every neighborhood of x contains all but finitely many elements of xj this is what we will say but in case of metric spaces uh okay here let us first see some relation between these two plus seven oh ho aise padhai hoti hai class chalegi are to attendance lagani hai are attendance ke liye matao bhaiya hello ye kaun hai mute kar lijiye apne ko hello Sir, you may continue. Hmm. So let us 
see this. So how 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 do you write this neighbor root of zero? This is norm mod x minus zero less than epsilon. Okay. So this neighbor root can be written in this form. Correct. So let us write it here. If for every epsilon positive, there exists. So here we are saying finitely many. So there, so for finitely many means there exists some some natural number, say capital N, such that. Now instead of this mod, what we will write? We will write. And norm norm x j minus x less than epsilon for all j greater than equal to n. Okay. So this is how we we define a convergence sequence in metric spaces. Therefore, we can define it in norm spaces as well. Is there any doubt about this definition? Hello? No, sir. No. Okay. So you all know every convergent sequence is bounded. You have you have seen this in your metric space uh, uh, course or in your real analysis course. You have seen that every convergent sequence. Is bounded, okay? Yes, but what sir. is the meaning of boundedness in norm spaces? Sir, bounded means uh, it have a supremum or and infimum. Okay, it has. Therefore, a the, huh, so it, therefore okay. it will be known as bounded. Uh, okay, so for uh, supremum and infimum, you need uh, what you need is. Um, uh, what what do you call it? You call it uh, the notion of order, orderness. Okay. Supremum or infimum can you have to order relation take in a SR relation up to Padaga. But you are right in R, it's correct. It, it, it has a supremum. So, but you can you can say it in this way also. A subset. E of X is bounded if there exists a positive number M such that norm X is less than M for all X in E. Okay. Is this okay? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, when you were in the realm of uh, sequences in, in your real analysis course, you must have seen Cauchy sequences. Have you seen yes, this? Sir. So, can you recall yes, what, what a Cauchy sequence was? Okay, a sequence. X J in X is said to be a Cauchy sequence if please complete it. If for every epsilon positive, there exists a positive integer okay and which depend on epsilon okay such that norm xj minus xl less than epsilon for all j comma l greater than equal to n epsilon okay so this means uh, this means for for the tail of uh, the sequence it will contain in an epsilon neighborhood. Okay. So this is this say j badega. Okay. This is this is the infinity ko jayega. So unke members ki beach ki distance kya hai? 
बहुत कम होते जाएगी ठीक है सो दिस इज वट एक्सिक्वेंस इज सो यू मस्ट है रिजल्ट सो रिजल्ट फ्रॉम रियल एनालिसिस दैट एवरी कॉसी सिक्वेंस इज बाउंडेड Have you seen this? And you, you, you have also seen one result that every convergent sequence is Cauchy. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have yes, you seen sir. these results? Yes, Say yes. Yes, sir. Okay. so we will be using these results okay we will use yes, these sir. these results so you you must have seen the following also so you you must have seen every cauchy sequence sorry every convergent sequence is cauchy but converse is not true but converse is not true can anyone tell me why so this means uh, there exist a cauchy sequence which is not convergent can anyone uh, give me a cauchy sequence in a metric space so i am saying in a metric space not a normed space okay in a metric space such so that that cauchy sequence does not converge yes yaad hai aap logon ko हेलो यस सर याद है यस यस सर सर आप बताइए कौन सा कौशी सीक्वेंस है जो कन्वर्ट नहीं करता एक मेट्रिक स्पेस दीजिए और एक कौशी सीक्वेंस दीजिए जहां पर वो कौशी सीक्वेंस कन्वर्ट नहीं कर रहे हैं okay so here is an example so you know r with this metric okay so we say the euclidean metric space euclidean metric space r okay in this metric space every cauchy sequence is convergent every cauchy sequence is convergent we know this now take y equal to open interval 0 comma 1 which is a subspace of r okay so this mean what what does this mean this means take the uh, the distance dy in 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 open interval 0 1 which defined like this okay For all x comma y in zero comma one, take this as a distance in y. So with this distance, y is called y comma dy is called subspace of x. Okay, it is called subspace. So this means you know every subspace is a metric space. Now what you do? You take a sequence x j given by one by j. So each one by j belongs to zero one for all j uh, one to up to infinity. Okay. Is it okay? Is it correct? Yes, sir. But you see. in r this 1 by j converges to zero okay but so this means this 1 by j is a cauchy sequence is a cauchy sequence in y also okay in y but it is not convergent but it is not convergent where in a y 
क्यों क्योंकि आप जानते हैं विद दिस डिस्टेंस इट विल कन्वर्ज टू जीरो इट विल कन्वर्ज टू जीरो बट जीरो इज नॉट मेंबर ऑफ वाई जीरो वाई का मेंबर है कि नहीं है नहीं है ओपन इंटरवल लिया हमने नहीं है तो इसका मतलब तो दिस दिस सीक्वेंस इज कॉसी बट इट इज नॉट कन्वर्ज ओके सो दिस मीन दिस मीन देयर एग्जिस्ट कॉसी सीक्वेंसेस व्हिच आर नॉट कन्वर्ज दिस इज वन ऑफ सच एग्जांपल नाउ a metric space where every cauchy sequence is convergent such metric spaces are called complete metric spaces complete metric spaces okay yes sir so a uh, uh, metric space xd is called complete if every cauchy sequence in x is convergent okay now you 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 can say uh, you can talk about complete normed space as well as well so a normed space Uh, it's called complete if every cauchy sequence in it is convergent okay correct yes sir yes sir a norm space is complete if every cauchy sequence in in it is convergent so such normed spaces are called banach spaces so this means so here is the definition of banach space uh, a banach space is a, a complete normed space is called a banach okay. a complete normed space is called a banach space okay so do you yes. see the difference between norm cleaner space and banach space yes sir so yes, yesterday sir. we have seen some examples of norm spaces today we will see uh, at least one example of banach space and uh, we will see at least one example of uh, norm space which is not a banach okay yes sir so before uh, going to uh, some examples let us uh, let us see a result which characterizes uh, banach spaces okay let us see a result so before going to the result let us uh, recall a few notions from metric space okay yes sir so aapne open ball open balls padhe hain ओपन बॉल क्लोज बॉल मेट्रिक स्पेस में नहीं सबसे पहले तो यही पढ़ते okay, आप, आपने ओपन इंटरवल पढ़े आर ने सर यस सर ओपन इंटरवल क्लोज डोर पढ़े ये पढ़ा है ना ओपन इंटरवल यस सर कोई बताएगा ओपन इंटरवल की डेफिनेशन क्या होती है अच्छा कैसा ओपन इंटरवल कैसा इंटरवल इंटरवल इन विच द एक्सट्रीम टू वो ओपन इंटरवल होता है और इंक्लूड होती है वो क्लोज इंटरवल होता है अच्छा आप 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 जो कहना चाह रहे हैं वो ये है सो पहले बात इंटरवल क्या होता है वट इज एन इंटरवल इंटरवल सेट और सबसेट आई ऑफ आर A subset I of R is called an interval if uh, if for uh, if if a comma b belongs to I implies uh, implies a okay uh, let me write this if 
A comma B belongs to I and A, this implied belongs to I, okay? Means, agar koi do point us subset mein hai, to unke beach aane wala har ek point bhi us subset mein hooga. Agar aisa koi property satisfy karne wala subset hai, to usko hum interval kehte hai, correct? And then what you can open? So suppose we have uh, uh, a set I of this form and where A and B are finite uh, finite real numbers and A is less than B. Okay? Yes, sir. So this is an open interval. Aap isko denote karte A comma B forms. Okay? Yes, sir. Now if I ask yes. you so now if I ask you, uh, give me an open interval with the length uh, 1 and centered at point 0. I uh, length 1 centered at 0. Can you give me an uh, open interval of this property? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, one upon x, where x belongs from zero to one. Centered at zero, I have said. So it is, it is exactly this. Okay. Its length one is, and its center zero is. Correct. Yes, sir. So you can write this. Now I will replace length with radius. I will replace radius with radius. Okay. Radius half. Its radius half. Hai. Isko aap likhte hai, I equal to all those x in R such that mod of x minus zero less than half. Okay. This is same thing, na? Yes, sir. So ye aapka minus half comma half aayega. ठीक है? Yes, Ab, sir. अगर मुझे इसे किसी general metric space में कहना होता so zero ki jagah hum replace kar dete hain x naught se aur radius ko r se then uh, uh, then we will we will say uh, we will not say that set open interval we will say it open ball okay ab hum usko kya kahenge open ball kisi general metric space mein ball kehte hain theek hai so ball centered at x naught and radius r to ye same set आप उसको R की जगह X कह देंगे और डिनोट करेंगे ball B centered X naught radius R ओके okay? ये notation हो गया How do we define this All those X in X such that अब यहाँ पर क्या किया आपने X जो आप पहले interval वाला case देखिए आपने सारे point लिए real numbers के जिनकी दूरी इस zero से uh, half se kam thi, okay? Yes, sir. So, metric space wale case ma aap kya kenge? Distance between x and x naught is less than half. Okay? Yes, sir. So, how do you define this in norm space? Bolye, open ball in norm space is Open ball centered at x naught and radius r in norm space is this. Achha, yaha par half ni tha, yaha r tha na, r likhe mene. Is this okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is open ball. How do we define closed ball? Closed ball ko hum denote karenge bars. This is so. This was open ball. Okay, now closed ball. Closed ball is all those x in x such that norm x minus x naught less than equal to r. Okay, so this is called closed ball. So when x naught equal to origin means zero and r equal to one, it is called unit ball. It is called unit ball. So open unit ball and closed unit ball. Correct? Yes, sir. 
अच्छा गुड सो so, इसका मतलब अगर मैं क्लोज यूनिट बॉल लिखूं तो उसकी डेफिनेशन क्या होगी ऑल दो एक्स इन एक्स सच दैट नॉम एक्स इज लेस देन इक्वल टू वन क्योंकि एक्स नॉट जीरो है ना एक्स नॉ एक्स माइनस जीरो इज एक्स करेक्ट यस सर ओके गुड नाउ हियर इज ए करेक्टराइजेशन सो बिफोर गिविंग यू ए करेक्टराइजेशन लेट मी रिकॉल ए रिजल्ट फ्रॉम मेट्रिक स्पेस ओके सपोज वी हैव अ क्लोज्ड सेट लेट एफ बी ए क्लोज्ड सेट ओके लेट मी राइट इट इन अनदर वे ओके ए सेट एफ इज क्लोज्ड ए सेट एफ इज क्लोज्ड इफ एंड ओनली इफ every cauchy sequence or in fact you can say or a convergent sequence this is true for both okay yes sir uh, every cauchy sequence in f every cauchy sequence uh, in f has a Has its limit in F. Has its limit in F. Okay. Means every Cauchy sequence in a closed set uh, will be convergent, and whatever the limit will be, it will be in F. Okay. So this means yes, X n is a Cauchy sequence, uh, and so any any Cauchy sequence is convergent. Suppose x n converges to x, then x is also belongs to F. So uh, this is the result from metric space theory. I think you must have seen this in your uh, your course on metric spaces. So using this, let us define a let us see a characterization of non-linear spaces to be Banach space. Okay. A normed space X is a Banach space if and only if its its closed unit ball closed unit ball क्या थी अभी हमने लिखा था norm X less than equal to one this was closed unit ball is complete is complete means every cauchy sequence is convergent okay so uh, so we are saying a normed space x is a banach space so uh, let us see a proof ab dekhiye normed space jo ki banach space hai तो उसके लिए क्या जरूरी है डेफिनेशन क्या आती बेनाक स्पेस की डेफिनेशन क्या थी अ कंप्लीट नॉर्मड स्पेस अ कंप्लीट नॉर्मड नॉर्मड स्पेस इज कॉल्ड अ बेनाक स्पेस बेनाक तो सपोज एक्स इज सपोज एक्स इज एक्स इज एक्स इज एक्स इज कंप्लीट ओके सो दिस मींस इट इज बेनाक स्पेस ओके यस सर नाउ You know this ball is closed. This is closed. Okay. Yes, sir. So therefore, using this result, B zero one is complete. <laughs> is this okay? Yes, sir. क्यों देखिए क्यों ऐसा होगा कोई भी आपने कौशी सीक्वेंस ली कहां पर बी जीरो वन में सपोज दिस इज कौशी सीक्वेंस कौशी सीक्वेंस इन बी जीरो वन ओके तो ये ये कौशी सीक्वेंस बी जीरो वन में है तो ये कौशी सीक्वेंस कहां भी होगी एक्स में भी होगी 
Yes, sir. This implies action is a Cauchy sequence. X, but X is complete. Yes, sir. Yes. So, this means that action converts. Karegi. This implies yes. action is convergent. Yes, sir. So, it has a limit. Suppose, suppose it converges to X, and suppose X then converges to X, and n goes to infinity. Okay. Yes, sir. By this result, ये क्या कह रहा है जो ऊपर वाले result है closed unit ball जो है उसमें जो ये x n अगर x को converge कर रही then x belongs to f f means जो भी closed set है यहाँ पर closed set हमारे पास है x this implies x belongs to b zero one bar and we are done so this means b zero one is complete ये वाला part तो बहुत easy था कन्वर्स पार्ट भी जी है कन्वर्सली नाउ एज्यूम दैट दिस इज दिस पार्ट इज ट्रू मींस यूनिट क्लोज यूनिट बॉल इज कंप्लीट देन वी हैव टू शो दैट नॉर्म दिस स्पेस इज कंप्लीट ओके तो एज्यूम दैट b01 बार इज कंप्लीट एंड आवर क्लेम इज x इज कंप्लीट Okay, x means uh, the norm space is complete. So, how do we prove that it is complete? Hai? Hello. How do we show that a uh, 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 metric space is complete? Definition? What do you mean? Sir, uh, norm space is complete if every Cauchy sequence converges. हाँ तो अब आप एक कॉसी सीक्वेंस ले लीजिए आर्बिट्री कॉसी सीक्वेंस लेट एक्स एन बी ए कॉसी सीक्वेंस ओके करेक्ट आपने पढ़ा था कॉसी सीक्वेंस बाउंडेड होती है है ना यस कॉसी सीक्वेंस बाउंडेड यस सर यस सर तो कॉसी सीक्वेंस क्योंकि बाउंडेड है तो देयर एक्सिस सम एम पॉजिटिव सच दैट एन is less than m okay less than equal to m for all n in z plus is this okay yes sir now from this sequence define another sequence un which is given by this abhi ek baat bataiye ye jo sequence banegi un iska norm kya hoga what is norm of un This will be norm of x n by m. So this one by m is a scalar. So it will come out norm x n. From here, what can you say? In दोनों की मदद से क्या कहेंगे आप? Norm x n by m is less than equal to less than equal to m. Sir, one. One. Okay. So this means this u and this u n. This is a sequence in this set. ये देखिए यहाँ पर इस set के सारे एलिमेंट्स का नॉर्म क्या है लेस देन वन था और क्योंकि यूएन का भी नॉर्म लेस देन वन है दिस इंप्लाइज यूएन इज अ सीक्वेंस इन दिस बॉल करेक्ट यस क्योंकि एक्सटेंड कॉसी था देयर फॉर यूएन इज आल्सो कॉसी यूएन कॉसी हो गया इन बी जीरो वन और बी जीरो वन क्या है कंप्लीट है हमने माना है बी जीरो वन कंप्लीट है तो ये जो सीक्वेंस है इसका एक लिमिट एग्जिस्ट करेगा बी जीरो वन में ओके मींस ये कन्वर्जेंट होगी सिंस बी जीरो वन इज कंप्लीट देयरफॉर यूएन इज कन्वर्जेंट इन बी जीरो वन ओके 
So suppose U n converges to U as n goes to infinity. Suppose U n converges to as U goes to infinity. Now take U equal to sorry take x equal to u into m. Okay, then this is we x n. How to define it? U n. How to define it? X n by m. Here is what is x n equal to u n into m. And u n converge is doing u ki or. Now we are x equal to what? U m. It's easy to see that x n converges to x, which is u into m. Okay. Yes, sir. So to show this, what you do? You you just write x n, and so 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 this. I'll leave this for you as an exercise. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this means x n is convergent and converges to x, which is u m. Okay. This implies x is complete, and uh, this means x is a complete norm space. Implies x is Banach space. Okay? So this is how uh, you you prove this characterization of a Banach space. अगर किसी Banach space में अगर कोई Banach space आपके पास है, then उस बेनाक स्पेस का जो क्लोज्ड यूनिट बॉल है वो कंप्लीट होगा एंड कन्वर्स इज आल्सो ओके लेट अस नाउ सी अ फ्यू एग्जांपल्स ऑफ अ कंप्लीट नॉर्म स्पेस ओके आई थिंक यस्टरडे आई हैव एट द एंड आई हैव गिवन यू वन एग्जांपल एट द एंड लेट मी सी वेयर ओके यहां पर हमने कल एक एग्जांपल दिया था के एन के लिए सो so, Okay, Rn के लिए. So we define Rn with this norm, norm P norm. Okay. So we show yes, that sir. this is a normed linear space. So here is an exercise for you. So that Rn with this norm is complete. Okay. Yes, means, sir. means this is a Banach space. Okay. Now, today I will give you another example, which is uh, very interesting. अगर ये example कर ले तो K N वाला बहुत easy हो जाएगा. Okay. Now, define this. Side. Let us, you know. The the set is set के बारे में पढ़ा आपने पहले LP space है metric space में पढ़ा होगा this is set of all sequences okay this is set of all sequences in K such that this series converges okay let me write this like this okay X J to P J from one to infinity is finite. Okay, so पहले हम देख लेते हैं ये क्या है। ये तो एक notation है, ये simple एक notation है। इसका meaning समझते हैं। So as I told you, this is the notation for the family of all functions f. From n to k, okay. और आज हम शुरुआत में ऐसे functions का एक नाम दिया क्या नाम दिया था बताइए sequence sequence okay so this means k n is collection of all sequences in k so in other words k n is a uh, set of all sequences in K. 
So this means when I say x belongs to K n, this means x is a sequence. Okay. And then such that with this property, what is the property? Property is whenever I take the series. Okay. Yes, sir. But they run from one to infinity. If this is finite, then such the collection of such sequences is called LP, LPN. Okay. So, हम हम केवल LP से भी इसको denote करेंगे. Okay. जब हम केवल LP कहेंगे तो इसका मतलब LPN है. So we can replace this N by any any set S. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If if this N is finite. Means, को, कोई फाइनाइट जिस एन को रिप्लेस करते हैं हम किसी फाइनाइट सेट से तो ये सेम जो हमने कल पढ़ा था ना आर एन या के एन ठीक है यस ओके सो दैट इज एन एक्सरसाइज फॉर यू वो कैसे बनेगा आपने देखना है ना सो इट इज इजी टू सी दैट ओके फर्स्ट Prove that this is a subspace, subspace of K n. Okay, so we will we will show this. So first, we first show that uh, we first show that L P n is a is a is a linear space, is a linear subspace of K n. ओके, सो पहले ये देखते हैं ये सब स्पेस क्यों है तो बताइए कैसे देखा जाएगा सब स्पेस क्यों है अगर आपको कल का कल हमने एक इक्विलिटी करी थी जिसका नाम था मिनको बस की इक्विलिटी इनके याद है आपको हाँ ये कौन सा कलर आ गया मिनको बस की इनक्विलिटी की निकुलिटी कुछ नहीं है वही जो नॉम जो आपने ट्रायंगल इनिक्विलिटी लिखी थी केसेस में जो की थी पी ग्रेटर देन एक्स प्लस वाई लेस देन लेस देन इक्वल टू प्लस वाई ये आपने कल पढ़ा था यस यस इसको कैसे लिख सकते थे क्योंकि एक्स जो था वो एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स एन था वाई जो था वाई वन वाई टू वाई एन था याद है तो आप देखते थे ये पढ़ा था आपने कल आज हमारे पास ये एक्स यहाँ एक्स जो है एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स एन इसके बाद भी है है ना एक सीक्वेंस है वाई भी हमारे पास वाई वन वाई टू वाई एन एन सो एक सीक्वेंस है अप टू एन टर्म के लिए हम ऐसा कह सकते हैं करेक्ट यस सर अप टू एन टर्म हम ऐसा कह सकते हैं लेकिन अगर मैं इसमें जे रन फ्रॉम वन टू इन्फिनिटी कर दू तो ये तो फाइनाइट रहेगा ना यस yes, सर और ये इससे बड़ा भी होगा ये इस वाले सम से बड़ा होगा ये नीचे वाले सम फाइनाइट इसलिए रहेगा क्योंकि हमने कहा है कि ये जो एक्स और वाई है वो एलपी के मेंबर है और एलपी के मेंबर्स ये देखिए एलपी के मेंबर्स का जो ये सम है ये फाइनाइट है यस yes, सर ठीक है yes, तो ये अंदर वाला फाइनाइट है तो इसका पी एथ रूट भी फाइनाइट होगा ये अंदर वाला फाइनाइट है तो पी एथ रूट भी फाइनाइट होगा इसमें yes, किसी को कोई प्रॉब्लम है नो सर ओके अब हो गया ये वाला पार्ट तो ये दोनों पार्ट फाइनाइट है दिस इज फाइनाइट करेक्ट यस और फिर फिक्स फिक्स नंबर होगा पॉजिटिव नंबर होगा ये नॉन निगेटिव 
it is some non negative number okay yes sir yes sir. so suppose wo k hai hum thodi der ke liye usko k maan le rahe hain now what you do this inequality ye jo main likh raha hu fir se j from 1 to n x j plus y j p 1 by p less than equal to k and this is true for all n in z plus correct yes sir now letting n goes to infinity kya milega j 1 to infinity x j plus y j p is finite milega yes sir finite in means this is exactly less than equal to k milega which is finite लीनियर स्पेस ओके Yes sir. now i'll give you a norm on this lp so suppose we have a sequence x1 x2 xn say xj j1 to infinity then this is the sequence uh, this so in that case this is a norm okay using using this inequality you may prove that This norm satisfies the triangle inequality. Okay, same. Yes, ये देख ये ये वाला norm x p है. Yes sir. ये वाला norm y p है. Yes sir. और ये जो है ये जो right को है जब n tending to infinity किया था ये norm x plus y p है. Yes so, sir. From there we so that we have already shown this. This is a this is a norm. Okay. Yes sir. Now. uh one more thing is to be proven that this norm lpn is uh, sorry this this linear space is complete okay to show this we do we will take a cauchy sequence x mu which will be uh, of this form x mu 1 x mu 2 aise aap le lenge okay this is a cauchy sequence in lp yes sir correct so this means mod x mu Uh, x mu j p is finite j runs from 1 to infinity okay yes sir so take this as cauchy sequence means aap ye bhi keh rahe x mu j minus x mu l is less than epsilon for every epsilon positive there exist n such that greater than equal to n okay you are saying this now here is a exercise for you exercise so that x mu is converged in lp okay yes sir so this will give you that lpn is a banach space lpn is a banach space okay please do this